Hello and welcome back to the vlog. I'm in the shade and it is 38 or 39 degrees at the moment. It's just after three o'clock in the afternoon here in the Shire in Chidarchani, a village in northwest Bosnia and Herzegovina. And I wanted to be bright and bubbly today, uh, and I'm going to try and be bright and bubbly today. But if you've been following uh, our blog and our newsletter and Instagram and wherever else we are on the internet these days, you'll know that the small, that tiny orphan kitten that we gave the name Akiva to uh, contracted um, a respiratory problem and sadly didn't make it. And um, left us at about 11 o'clock on Tuesday evening. It has hit Tam and me particularly hard. We knew it was going to always be the case of if you find an orphan um, and you start to feed it and you know to make its life better that you're going to get this attachment and I think it's going to take us you know some days um, to get over it but um, they say here uh, in this part of Bosnia and Herzegovina, Stajatuja, which means it is what it is. And it seems to me to be a rather flippant phrase to use now, but Stajatuja, we do live in the countryside and it is what it is. But once again, the people that dumped that kitten, um, I hope karma catches up with them. Right, let's try and get a bit more bubbly, uh, <laughs> if, if I can. This heat is like tremendous um, and I'm staying in my office and I'm doing 20 minutes with uh, air conditioning and 20 minutes without and this is there's all fruit lying around here so I'm being bothered by flies and wasps and everything I'll try and get through it um, we had intended in this uh, vlog to look at uh, the international white water rafting championships that were held last weekend um, in Banja Luka but uh, we went down to the um, uh, event location uh, at the canyon and it was a very paired back championship only six nations from the region all smaller nations actually and that's because of covid um, and the competition itself was paired back so it was like um, a fail but to start this vlog um, let's take uh, a little bit of time to drive down the banks of the river Verbas from Banja Luka towards the canyon uh, and enjoy the ride.
it really is beautiful uh, driving that route it never gets boring uh, even when it's rainy and overcast there's still so many things to see and when you go up and down uh, the canyon you get a different perspective there are wonderful uh, crags of rock laying across uh, the valley if you can get close to the river you can see it racing down it certainly is wonderful but as i said we arrived and uh, nothing much happening so tam and i took the opportunity to take in the view to rest uh, in the shade by the side of this wonderful river the river verbas uh, and have a breakfast and if you ever come to banya luca we'll take you to the restaurant pastia and the rafting club uh, their cold platter is something not to be missed. Good food, a good location, and always uh, nice people down there. Mm, we've had planes flying over us for the first time in, I don't know, over 18 months it seems now. Uh, and Banja Luka Airport is now open and we've got flights going to Sweden, to Germany, to Belgium, where else? To Austria, to France, and uh, yeah, it is still quite novel. And I was living for many years of my childhood next to Heathrow Airport and I was always mesmerized by the aeroplanes taking off and landing and I still get those sort of twinges of nostalgia every time I hear an aircraft and sometimes I manage to dash out and uh, yeah try my best to uh, take a clip of uh, the planes taking off and landing here. Well because this week has been a bit up and down uh, as, as I explained I wanted to show you what uh, previous years have looked like for the uh, International Rafting Federation Championships that are hosted here. I think I first covered them back in 2013. Team GB were here, uh, Argentina were here, I think 20 odd teams from uh, around the world. But here's some clips um, from past championships just to show you the feel of uh, the standard of the river, uh, the standard of the course and how exciting it is um, to come here when they've got the white water rafting championships running. So that's it from this week's uh, vlog. I hope you enjoyed the trip down the road, down the valley, down the canyon um, to uh, Karanovac uh, and the shots of the whitewater rafting. Um, I haven't really got a clue what we'll be doing next week, but you're gonna find out, especially um, if you follow us 
press share likes and subscribes if you're seeing this uh, on YouTube if you're watching this through our weekly newsletter then you'll be seeing this totally ad free um, do sign up and subscribe the newsletter is free so you'll never miss a post and it will pop into your email inboxes at seven o'clock on a Saturday morning Central European time right I'm going back into the air conditioning the rest of the family are sheltering in the house with the shutters down and you know when I was in Britain they always said you know midday Sun it's not midday heat here it's mid afternoon heat and I think it's going to be 40 it's still got to reach 40 today so until next week please stay safe wherever you are they are still challenging times um, yeah a village taxi going past or as you would call it a tractor until next week Dovidjenya, Fidimusa and ciao for now